I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He breaks it. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he's taken down right around the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Around the 38-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Now this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. He's coming. Check in. Check in. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at the 44-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 44-yard line, first down. Check girls, check girls, check girls. On the ground, inside. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. That brings up second and one. Double tight, guys, double tight. Three down, three down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Set, light 80. Watch the motion, watch the motion. They'll bring him down at the 38. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved him back. It's third and four. Ball on the 38-yard line. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. right around the two-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. To the end zone, intercepted. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Nice run there as they work the outside. goes right around the 24-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. Quick throw, and he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. A pickup of about three. Doesn't look like this defense is going to let him beat him with the deep passes. 
so they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. Gaither is back deep to return. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They're about four yards away here on third down. Fires that quickly incomplete. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Fisher is set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. From the 15. And down he goes at the 21. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second and five, ball on the 26-yard line. Mike 28, Mike 28, run it in! Gaither is back to receive. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. This college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. First down, Grant. Inside the 30. He's taken down right around the 28-yard line. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. So at the end of one quarter, no score here. to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 19. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They failed down here the last two times.
tries to buy some time. Tackle made at the 17-yard line. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move the ball downfield. First and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a gain of five on the ball. That brings him second and five. Tries to get around the corner. He takes it right side for a good game. Call it a game of four yards. That'll make it third and one. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Nice run there. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. It's second and goal. Ball on the five. Dips it to his receiver. Touchdown. catch by the receiver for the touchdown anytime you're near the red zone you got to keep an eye for this guy they love going to him down here and he converts the extra point a nine play 59 yard drive and they put up seven points Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Taken at the five. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Makes it to the 28-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. He makes his way to about the 38. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. He's scrambling. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's taken down right around the 40. That'll bring up second and three. Larry, Larry. Mike 28. Mike 28. I got you, Pump. Let's go. He's 
He's at the 30, makes it out to about the 26. This is the eighth play of this drive. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Loss of about two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 28-yard line. Throws a strike over the middle. And a huge touchdown play. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 72-yard drive. And it results in a touchdown. like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's tackled right away. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. Knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. From the 49-yard line, first down. Quick out to his receiver. Right down, right around the 38-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. He scrambled. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Throws incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Third down and they need to get it to the 28. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. They'll knock him down for a loss. And they'll lose a yard there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. So at the end of the half, we're even at seven in this one. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence would shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, 
why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Tackle at the 26. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Get to that quickly. That's a great tackle at the 28. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Gets out to around the 38. Flares it out to the right, and that's to the fullback. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line, second down. for a loss. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. He's got to throw it in a hurry, and he's hit immediately. And that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 48. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. That's a good That makes it second and two. Fights forward to about the 43. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 43. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. This is the 11th play of this drive. Slings it. Tackle at the 27-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. Here's an opening. 
Inside the 10. Touchdown. Big play. He got the ball, and he was gone. And let me add one thing. The offensive line deserves some credit here. I mean, they opened up a huge hole for him to run through. And he adds the extra point. So a 12-play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 14-7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Steps out of bounds at the 31. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 31-yard line. He just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. He gets rid of this one. Taken down at about the 49. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And they make the stop at around the 44 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Five wide. Quick throw. Tackle made at the 37. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And they hit him in the backfield. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 14-7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He's hit and taken down. I love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs him to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. First and ten. Ball of the 22. Zips it to the back. And he's taken down at about the 21. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine.
And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Caught, and that's a first down. What a play, and that is first and goal. So here we go, first and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Brought down at about the three-yard line. This is the 13th play of this drive. They'll drop him for a loss. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home, the blocking wasn't there, and down he went. The ball's on the six yard line, and we've got third and goal. He's on the run. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. You know, he was looking and looking, and he finally said to himself, you know what, I'll just take this thing myself. Nice decision making. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. San Jose State ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Catches it, and that's all. And they get five yards from that completion. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Just under three to go in regulation. He's at midfield. Makes it to the 37. From the 37 yard line, first down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Over the middle to his tailback. They'll bring him down right around the 30. San Jose State's going to take their first time out of the half. He gets it up. And he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under two minutes in the game. Rose left, the running back's got it. And he's level at the 41. I like to call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Fires in a hurry. Interception. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From their own 47-yard line, first down. Gets out to around the 45. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. San Jose State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Nice run there. You know, the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. That's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. They're about four yards away here on second down. the middle for a nice game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 17-14. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.